Hi there guys, Ralph here with 4K Equipment. Uh, today I got a really quick one for you. Uh, it's just going to show off uh, one of the main uses for the 3D system. Um, it's basically just taking a few points with the edge of the bucket and then throwing it into the system, uh, being able to edit where those points are, uh, having the screen show you where your working area is, and so forth. So let me jump up in there and uh, we'll get started. Alrighty, so now I'm in the cab and we have a relatively blank um, project going on here. There are There is stuff on this project, but we're not actually on that stuff. Um, so over here, uh, we're going to pretend like it's a blank project basically, and we've been localized with our GPS receiver. It's on top of the cab. Um, basically what I want to do is I want to take a, a point off the ground and existing. So I'm going to say right corner of the bucket, and then I'm going to go ahead and put it into the project. Uh, basically what that means is I gotta take that right corner. I don't know how much you can see here. Let me see if I can throw you right there. Um, and we actually aren't limited to not tracking around. So I'll go ahead and track forward here a little bit just to show you. And what I'm gonna do is take a shot with this uh, right corner of my bucket there. All right, so now that I got that bucket in position over there, I'm going to go up to the screen here, uh, the save the position screen, and I'm trying to save the position of the bucket uh, on the right edge of the bucket. And I'm actually going to close this menu down a little bit because it's already in the layer that I want. And so I can just hit the save button. And point one has been successfully saved. I don't know if you can see that on the screen in the bottom left. I've got the uh, top overview map on the left and then my bucket view on the right here um, if I hit that button it will show I have a 3d view on the right and the map on the left to keep me where I'm at and so what I want to do now is I want to take the second point if I hit save it'll take the second point exactly where it's at that's not what I want to do I want to go ahead and grab the other corner of what I'm trying to cut out so let's say it's over here and I need to track forward to um, try not to drop the GoPro there we go uh, let's say uh, it's actually left edge of bucket right here alrighty we're pretending like that's an important part on the site I'm gonna hit the left side of the bucket and then I'm gonna hit the save button point two has successfully been saved and as you can see that second point is now showing up uh, it's actually in blue at the top left there. That red is just another point that's in the job file. Um, so now I'm going to go ahead and do that with my two other points here. Let me just... So right side and save. And it should say point three. And then uh, I'm going to do a fourth point just to show you how it takes the heights into consideration and splits it in half. So let me pop over here to the left some more. Good to me. Left and save. Point four. Alrighty. Now I've got my four points uh, over here on the map. Um, basically just took in like it was existing corners. Uh, I'm going to go over here to layers. Test layer. We're going to hit edit entities. And then the four points are going to show up. So up here at the top is how we create stuff. So I'm going to create a polygon based off those points. Uh, the order does matter as well, but uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a polygon here, and it should show a line all the way around it. I am adding it to the test line, and there we go. You can see the polyline that I just made based off those four points, and I'm going to make a surface with that by clicking the layers again, going over to test layer, going to edit entities one more time, and then I'm going to create a surface. Triangulate surface based off that polygon one. So now I'm gonna hit the check mark and I wanted to add it to that surface. And if you can see, it actually splits the sloping pad in half because it's actually using the heights from the points that I marked in here. So now if I go back to uh, select for guiding, which is what I meant to click. Uh, test layer, select for guiding. As you can see, the layer is now showing up on the 3D model, and it's giving me question marks because I'm actually outside of. If I raise my boom and bring it back in, it 
it'll now tell me a height based on the slope of the surface that I just made. It, it includes everything based off those points. And in the software, you can go in and edit those points too. So if I'm wanting to do a height offset, uh, I can say five feet off of that height offset. Uh, set five feet up on accident, but let's say, let's go 10 feet down just to make it even. So now, um, as you can see, if I move around the site here, which is kind of hard here, let me, let me put the bucket in the middle of my made up little pad here. So now, anywhere I move this, it's telling me how far on top of finished grade that it actually is. So yeah, so that's a quick little intro to some of the power that the 3D software has. Um, you can basically track around the site, grab interesting points, throw them into this job file here, and then make a surface with the job file, edit the points, uh, change your surface and all that good stuff. Uh, but yeah, uh, thanks for watching.